Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a new video. I hope you're doing fantastic, bro. If you're brand new, be sure you subscribe, drop a like, and let's jump straight into it. The award goes to <clears throat> Barry Scott. No! <clears throat> oh, shit. Is this actually real? Dude, this guy is, doesn't That's play around. I'm not a psycho. This lady is an actor. And I've set up a whole fake award show oh, okay. to prank one man. And if you're wondering why I'm doing this, well, this is a series where I've done some crazy things with America's biggest prankster, Jadio. This is your intro, eh? We've both set each other four unbearable challenges to Yo, see guys, who will follow through and who will fall. Light, We're doing all of this to answer the question, who is the biggest man? <laughs> Wait, is that dead? He no! Tank, Javante Tank. He announced the wrong person on purpose. And as you can see by the reaction from the crowd, it was. So that is exactly what I'm going to get Jid to do. Except the crowd are going to be hired extras and the award show is going to be completely fake. If Jid doesn't announce the wrong name, then he folds and I win the biggest menace. But if he does, an actor will then come in and say their speech and make Jid feel like the worst person on this planet. So mm -hmm. either way, this one will feel like a win. But to make wow. this happen, there was only one place to start. If we're going to be doing oh, an award show, we're going to need a bunch Dude, this guy's doing a lot of planning into to do fake yeah, that's speeches. Amazing. So, I'm here to audition people. Let's do this. I needed to find actors who could deal with high amounts of improv because I needed people who were going to make the award show feel real. So, I told them to make up a fake award and no matter what, they couldn't break character. What is the award you're winning today? I'm winning the best debut of 2022. All right. This was a very serious casting situation. If people made a mistake at the award show, it would ruin everything. So I needed to make sure they were serious and did everything I could to put them off. You know, what um, award have you won? The best mother of the year. The mother of the year. Mm. But it's sound, music and dance. Mm. Because I do everything. See that? Yeah. Can you see that? That picture I'm showing you right now. Uh-huh. That's a picture of you, mother of the year, walking your four-year-old son on a leash, dragging him by his neck. You're trying to break the character, eh? Okay. I see what you're doing. Picture is not everything. Here's a video of you swinging him around. <laughs> swinging Wait, him this around. This lady's got an accent, bro. Where is she from? I wonder. At his neck. Like I wonder. Son. So you doing this with your son around your neck? It was fine. It was absolutely fine. Hi, Mum. Why did you suffocate me? I didn't. Punch him, don't. punch him, punch him. It is what you asked me. Ah! You've just hit your own son on stage in front of all of these people. He needs CPR. No, he doesn't. I'm Bro, this guy pushes it. You're his mother. Mm -mm. No. You're killing my son. It's my responsibility, yeah? Together. With one actor under my belt, I then secured some more to go into our cast. I'm really surprised to have got it, but uh, award for the best film score. Now just keep going with your speech and then just act like I'm not here, okay? I've seen the film and I thought it was absolutely brilliant. The Polish director, Anton, did a great job and I like to think the music, the score I wrote, adds something to the film. My first award of this type. Hopefully not the last, but thank you all very much. And you get a chance to see the Wait, film. what is this guy doing to Go his face, ahead bro? What? Enjoy. No. Thank you very much indeed, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Round of crazy. applause, yeah. round of applause, round of applause. Thank you. Incredible. Whoa. That's in school. The teachers were just so nice. I heard you met your wife at school, but I heard you met her last year. No, it was... To go with the allegations of you being a ghost. I did meet her at school, yeah, but she, she looked 16, yeah? She looked 16. I swear to God, she she nearly had a national insurance number. Someone please call the police. She was over 16. Uh, well, this guy's from the UK. That got an accent, man. Sounds cool. I swear, they, they all were, all of them. Don't listen to him. But it's not all bad, though, because then came a lady whose heart was definitely in the right place. Oh, well done, oh, Miss. Thank you. You've done it. You won the prize. I didn't do it on my own, Robert. You had a big part to play in it. Did I? You really did. 
all of you. You really did because you helped us. Rhythm, exactly, you see? And you taught it to me, Mace. Yes, but oh, I wow. give you the inspiration for it, you see? And you actually gave me what you felt inside your body. That's what it means. A perfect, you see? Ah. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. You fall down and you learn to get up. Now, do you want me to that's give you a hand good. or do you want to do it by yourself? Oh, I can't move my arm. You can't move your arm. Okay, hang on a second. Ah. Oh, my God. Okay, okay, okay. Daddy, Daddy, I'm here. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay sweetie. What can you feel fuck? my nah, fingers on your hand? <laughs> on your leg? That hurts. Okay, alright, we need uh, an ambulance right away, please. Alright? I wish my mother could be here right now. I know, Daddy. What the? So I could commit. Just marry, do it, bro. Just get a ring. So very proud of you. How do you know that? Don't say that. I left Wait. out. You shouldn't have taken it four years old. No, 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 it's okay. What the hey, heck? Hey, hey, oh, no. Oh, <laughs> Look at oh this guy. Oh, no. oh my god. I got something else. CPR? No, bro. But I don't do CPR. But I wake There's up. the ambulance on its way. It's okay, kids, don't worry. All right? Everything's under control. Just follow this nice gentleman, right? Get a glass of water, and I'll be out shortly to explain everything to you. I want Just to don't worry, all right? Back. Under control. Okay? Yes, you will be wonderful. All right, see you soon. Maybe okay. You keep, um, doing your speech now. What speech? To the award. Be, be, be your dad. Okay, this award is in Robbie's honour, and as much as it is in Robbie's honour, it's also in you, all of you. Thank you so much. Wow, cool. That's a good acting and skill. scene. Honestly, incredible. Wow, Oscar is needed immediately. Oh. Wow, Cynthia, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Okay, all right. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> yes, so no, that was incredible. Some of these actors had really impressed me with their improv skills, but none of them were quite there for the most important role, making Jid feel like the worst person on earth after they accepted their award. Until I met Anthony. We're doing an award show and we need an emotional speech from you. Thank you for this award, because I really didn't think they'll notice that everyone just looks at my disability. I want to thank my parents, obviously my mum for always being there for me. I just hope I can inspire people, really. So thank you. That is amazing. That is going to make him Wait, this guy's an awesome. Awesome, my friend. Yeah. See you Monday. We are going to prank Jadeon, and it's going to be sick. So we had all our cast in place. We just needed to set up the fake award show. We decided to call it the Sound Music and Dance Awards, AKA the SMD Awards, AKA the Suck My Dick Awards. And we what? had the perfect location. Wait, nah, bro. What is this guy doing, bro? The Sound Music and Dance Awards, AKA the SMD Awards, AKA the Suck My Dick Awards. Yeah. And we had the perfect location. Wait, that's pretty cool editing, though. So right here is the, the of SMD Awards, aka the Suck My Dick Awards. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Um, and we had the perfect. Yeah, bro, look at that, bro. Like that's pretty awesome, man. I'm not gonna lie. It's like three D. Shit, that's pretty good. Cool. Imagine if you could. Wow. Perfect location. So right here is the Yacht Club, which is where Yacht we're gonna Club. be doing Yacht. this award show. Now Jadeon is gonna think that this is a completely <laughs> legitimate. Well, this nigga actually say yach. Well, I thought it's yach. So, little but in reality, yachi. we're setting the whole thing yachi, up. Yachi, and yachi. the reason we're here right now is to do a nice little Leave rehearsal. Leave in the comment section below. What Just to make sure we've got yachi, everything. Yachi. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is great. How do you say? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, there's no way he's not going to fall for this. We had our venue, the script was written, the decorations were in place, we had Lad Bible helping us out to make it even more legit. Everything was ready. So it's time to run oh, you guys God. through this. Jid and I would be welcomed by the event organizer and led across the bridge to the York Club where the event is taking place. We would then get a nice little interview by Lad Bible and then head up to the main stage where our presenter Joe would open up the show. Our extras were already in place along with Anthony who was ready to make Jid's life hell. Bearing in mind Jid will think this whole thing is life so no matter what he does will be on the internet forever. So with all that being said, now it's time to meet Jadil. Let's go! Okay! Big up! 
Leon's on route and this is, I feel like, the last chance to get him. If he doesn't fold here, what what do I have to do to make him fold? Guys, we have gone all out for the last attempt. So for the last time, like the video and subscribe to the channel right now if you have enjoyed this series. Yes, Please right. subscribe. Sure I want to hit 10 million subscribers <laughs> one day. Thank you. Here he is. Mr. Jadil. Here is the sign. Here we go. Get Jadil to announce the wrong name at an award show. Wow. So who am I announcing? I don't know who you're going to be announcing. Okay. But they're just gonna give you the slip and mm -hmm. they don't know. Bro, isn't he even has like a freaking board thing, bro? Like, no, wow, no one so knows. Boring, You're just gonna have to read the wrong name. And then once you read the name. Oh, so this is like legit, legit. Legit, legit. The moment you read the wrong name, you need to sit back down and then you need to let them have their speech. The moment they start talking and talking and talking, that's when you've got to go up and say, no, Oh, I said the wrong name. you want me to pull a deji? What kind of event is it? You're gonna have to wait and see. For a deji, eh? Yeah, I don't know what kind of event it is. I might fold. It might be the right fold. Wait, bro, nah, what the fuck? Did this, this t shirt say homosexuality? Nah, man, get the fuck out of here with that. It's kind of bullshit. bullshit. You're gonna have to wait and see. I don't care what you think. I don't like that. Bro. Yeah, how you feeling? It depends on what kind of event it is. I might fold. It might be the right fold. <laughs> That's what we're going for. This was the first time I've like seen Jim thing. visibly nervous when I've told him a plan. And I believed that this Wait, was is this guy dead? Yeah, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section. Why are you making me do this? If you are the biggest menace, well, you do this with a smile. If you want to fold, you can fold. Stage one was getting the event organizer to meet us outside and give Jid a little bit of an emotional rundown. And the plan was to play with his heartstrings no very bunny. early on. We celebrate the talent that you don't really wow, get to see. Really the the scenes. Scenes. Um, so there's a lot of new up and coming people that you'll meet. We've had people win awards that have worked like Little Licks and Ed Sheeran. Some people that so really worked hard and really want this moment. Yeah. So there's some people here who this would be like the, the best day of their lives. Yeah, quite a big deal in our industry. Big deal. Perfect, perfect, thank you, thank you. I didn't want Jid to feel like he was in control of the situation at all, so I just kept reminding him of the possibility that he might fall. Okay, this one, this one might have to be a fold. This one might have to be a fold. Oh, this is evil. I never posted a YouTube video. What's <laughs> wrong with you? My friends are right here. Should we walk it together? I don't want to walk it with you. And how long have you been doing this for? Five years now, really nervous. You know, if it goes bad, that's all my head. I do really appreciate guys coming. Of course. Thank you for having us. <laughs> In that one moment right there, it Damn, really the guys already look, they already breaking the touch, man, everything, bro. You know, they already smashing already. Really set in on me. This is going to be broadcast to thousands of people. And I don't know when the series is going to come out. The guy doesn't come mix on. around, bro. It moves fast. Like you know what I'm saying? That's what you got to do. Yeah, the sound music and dancing was a 20 to 20. Kind of hesitate. And man. I joined by Mitchell Musa. Thomas Rowe. With this already having a lot of inspirational people, who is the music artist that inspired you the most? I'm not gonna lie, R. Kelly. R. Right. Kelly really inspired me just to be a better me every day. And uh, free R. Kelly. Uh, how about yourself? Oh my gosh, I don't even know. It's getting a little bit emotional. Uh, yeah, honestly, I'm just. I'm kind asking of, all the hard hitting questions today. I'm just going to be bothered with you guys. I bet no fault. Um, okay. Don't fold, don't fold. Enjoy the show. Suits, eh? Pink suits. Okay. Alright, let's do this, man. Why are you gonna be a pink suit? I'm gonna just do the lavatory real quick. You're gonna go to tuxedo. You know what I'm saying? Bro, that girl said if anything goes bad, anything goes bad. Wait, is it? You know what it is? Yeah, it's super choice. Okay, can we make like a slight adjustment? Can I say it and then be like, oh, wait, my bad, my bad? Then when I don't have to sit back. Yeah, you gotta sit down. You gotta sit down. I have to sit down. You have to sit down. Bro. Jid was panicking so much, he was literally begging me to change his challenge in a bathroom literally 10 minutes before it was going to happen. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen this side of it before. Okay. You got this? Yeah. I don't know yet. We're going to find out? We're going to find out. Okay, let's do this. Oh my gosh, it's done, it's done. Let's do it. Let's do it. Thank you so much. Jid was walking in to the lion's den. All the extras were dressed up in place and among them, were the actors I cast, planted around, ready to present or accept an award. A full-on sound and camera crew were on the sidelines, ready, and our presenter was on the stage. So when me and Jid sat down and I looked him in the eyes, I could see that Jid was terrified that he might ruin someone's whole year, or 
he'd have to fold. If that didn't make it feel real enough, I had a floor manager come up to tell Jid the order of the events and also inform him how important his award was for the night. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, normally like to, but like we're thinking just a little bit, just talking. So, um, what should you do? You should sit down. If you just look at some of the facial expressions this man was making, you could see how visibly uncomfortable he is. Yeah, so, bro. Wait, why is he wearing it? Why, why is he wearing that thing, bro? Why is it called a beanie? No, no, it's um. Hey. Oh, a durag. Yeah, that's why this nigga's called, bro. You know what I'm saying? I Only niggas with dress, but look at this stuff. Head like twister. I'll be wearing that. Oh my god, like look at that bro, look at the emblem bro, what? Just a quick two minute warning if anyone can start finishing the conversation, so um, make sure bums are on seats and we'll get started. The actors who had placed on the table were doing an incredible job at tugging on his heartstrings. Ah, oh, no one presented. Hopefully you uh, announce her award. Good luck. I'll be waiting. Good luck. Wait, that's the uh, actor that you hired earlier, right? Yeah, it looks like that. That's amazing, so much work. <laughs> it was already bad enough Nigga had me going up there to ruin someone's special night, but then the potential victims are over here trying to chit chat with me? What if this is the person I'm gonna ruin their special day? Sorry guys, one minute call. Can everyone start being quiet now, please? Thank you very much. Wow, I actually look I professional. Think it's lost. I think... You got it. What are you saying? What are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> this was it. It's it all came seen. down to this. Would he make it through or would he fold? How's your bottle, Jid? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Sound, Music and Dance Awards 2022. Before we hand out these awards, let's thank the awesome people who have made this event happen. Please give a big round of applause for all those who have been given their time, effort and dedication to make this event a success. A lot of effort, a lot of dedication. <laughs> On to our first award, the Outstanding Senior Dance Teaching Award recognises a mentor who provided outstanding guidance and support for their staff. The winner of this award is Jeez. Cynthia Sirigano. Yeah! nominated for an award like this is fantastic. It's something that we work very hard to get. Bro, those events are probably one of the most boring bro, but you just gotta pay attention, you know what I'm saying? Because it's one of those things, bro. So, yeah. Thank you very, very much, both myself and on behalf of my students. The nerves are building up inside of me and the thoughts are wasting in my head. But I can even think to myself because Nico was rubbing his sick plan in my face every second. This person is no longer getting this fancy uh, talk. Now we are giving them full scholarship. More of the actors were making their way onto the stage to accept their awards, and Jid was realizing more and more how deep he was into this. And I gotta take a picture. And I gotta take a picture. Why? I'm going to take a picture with you. I'm going to take a I can't lie, I've never been this anxious in my life. I've done a lot of crazy things in my past, but my anxiety is through the roof right here. And the winner is Marcia Rose. Yeah, I didn't see this one in the train. I'm not going to be able to sleep with myself at night. Thank you all so much. I did write a song during lockdown, which I shared, so I'm going to give you a little bit of it. Yeah, that's true. When I look at this world, it brings pain to my heart to see how mankind lives. How a man takes the life of the next human being, a wife for the color of his skin. Well, it's a run to run. God damn, well, that's pretty good. I got to admit, man, that's nice. You know what I'm saying? Boy, subscribe if you're brand new and drop a like. Can you sing it? Sing it. Oh, if I was going to go up there and ruin someone's special night, I'd be the one having to pay my due. <clears throat> To the crowd, because they would try to kill me. Crazy. Let's go. How you do? Play. How you do? 
<laughs> Please realise we had a whole vocal performance on stage just to make Jid feel like this was a real award show. This was truly... Oh, that's, he's pranking Jid. I thought Jid was... And the more people that came up and accepted their awards, the more I realised that Jid might actually fold. Oh. 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 Thank you. Most of the awards had now been given out, but there was still one to go, and that's the one which Jid was an. Oh, so he did his last. Okay. On the card, it will say the award winner is Richard Linton. But as a reminder, Jid will have four names to choose from. But what he doesn't know is all of them lead to the exact same person. If he reads Richard Linton, he has folded, and I win the biggest men. If he reads any of the other three names and interrupts the winning speech, he will complete this challenge and not fold. We built this oh, up as wow. much as we can, yeah, tried to get in his head as many ways as possible, but now it's time to see if he can manage it. But will he fall at the final hurdle? I am representing the United States of America. This is basically my World Cup. And I'm gonna bring it home. I realized I had the hopes and dreams of the UK on my back, so I needed him to fold so that we would win and finally bring it home. So, Dude, that's intense, our next dude, award you know what I'm is the Acoustic Music Producer Award. Now, this award is given to someone who shows promise in the industry and goes on to produce with artists such as Ed Sheeran. We've had that before. And this is given to an individual who has not only successfully created a compelling message for the public, but also worked hard to change our culture and celebrate the world around him. They use music to inspire those around them. The video submission was evaluated by the judges to determine a winner. Now, here, from the US, we have YouTuber Gideon to announce the award. Yay! There you go, let's go. I kid you not, I was walking up that podium. I hadn't made my mind up yet on whether or not I was gonna ruin someone's special night. It was gonna be a last split decision. Is he gonna fold? Is he gonna fold? How's everybody night going? Yeah. I was racing. It was now or never. I had no idea what I was about to do. But what I didn't know is I was shooting bricks. Well, today I'm gonna be presenting the acoustic music producer. Congratulations to whoever won. I wish I had like a speech for that. I like everybody else. A little bit more fun. <laughs> and the winner is. Yeah. Richard. Richard. <gasps> no! Bro, I haven't done money! Wait, I was not entering the room. Wait, did he fall? Yeah, he did. <laughs> In that moment, I was convinced that I had just won the biggest menace, and all I needed was Jid to give me the confirmation. Really? Cool. Thanks, guys. Um, it's been so much to be done. Because it's always so easy. And usually people just So, I was reading the fake speech that I had written in a room of extras that I had cast, holding an award that I had made in a location I had found, mm -hmm. I realized this was all it took to make Jid fold. I got Jid to give me the confirmation that I'd won and he was stood there <laughs> barking. Wow, shit, okay. Not realizing that the whole thing was fake. <laughs> I had won it and then it was time for me to tell that schmuck that he'd been played like a fiddle. Well done, man, well done. Well done. Thank you, bro. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, we made it fall! Let's go! Mm -hmm. My friend, all oh, these yeah. people were cast to make you fall, and you did it! You did it! <laughs> Let's go! That's pretty good, man. <laughs> guys, make sure you subscribe. Oh my gosh, bro. In my three Thanks years of doing YouTube, I've never been pranked. I did all these challenges, literally got arrested for an entire day. And this man plays on my empathy for win the biggest minutes. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Bravo. Oh my gosh, you're gonna do it. I know y'all will win any award. No, no, no. I didn't win bro. So wait, okay, what I'm guessing is if I would have said the wrong name, it would have been him. I think he was trying to make me feel rude. So that's it, man. So I, I think the video is over. So I really hope you did enjoy. If you did, be sure you leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you on the next video. I love you all and I'm out, baby.